you like my technique? This is, I learned this in Woodshop. Anyways, hey everybody, this is Go Geronimo, and today we're going to continue on that bow build where I use an ash wheelbarrow handle and a hickory railroad pickaxe uh, handle. Sliced them thin, got about two full length pieces, four of these uh, half pieces, but you splice them together, and I'll show you how to do that later. Right now I'm going to take a 5 16 inch drill, put it on my drill press, and uh, pop it right in the middle. Then we'll go ahead and put this 5 16 dowel with a little bit of wood glue. Put it in there just for reassurance, okay? It's going to make it one piece. Um, probably won't have to do this if you didn't want to, because we're going to be putting a piece of wood on either side. Handle on one side, and and a strip of wood on the other, on the um, back end. So, I'll drill the hole and put it in. Alright, so I got my 5 16 hole drilled in there, okay? And, I got this and fit it to where it, it goes in nice and, you know, snug, but where you could pretty much pull it back out, because going to need to have some glue coming through there too and if it was too tight it wouldn't have worked And we have breached the other side. You like my technique? This is, I learned this in Woodshop. <laughs> All right, I've never been in Woodshop, so. Probably explain a few things. Anyways, we'll let that dry just like it is. Then we'll draw on this thing. Make it into a boat. All right. All right, so I got the wood spliced together and I have a dowel in it. It's not going anywhere anymore. I sandpapered it nice and smooth, got all the glue off of it, cleaned it up, and the dimensions come out exactly like a piece of red oak that you'd find at your Lowe's at your Home Depot. If you don't have one of those around you, the dimensions are 3 fourths inch thick, one and a half inch wide, 72 inches long. So two ruler lengths, basically. This is a little bit longer, and so is this one. But this, it's just noting that it's exactly the same size as this one, so you can use the same method as you would on the How to Build a Red Oak Longbow series that I show you right here. But we're gonna go ahead and go over this again real briefly. This is our top view of our board, and then we're going to be drawing it up now. And you find center, you know, measure halfway this way, halfway that way, find your center. Five inches that way, five inches that way, and your first lines, which is your handle where you're going to put the handle block. One inch further past on each side where you're going to start your tapers. And we have, you're going to find your midway at the tips. And you're going to go a fourth on each side of that, make your half. Go ahead and draw your taper lines. And then you're going to want to go ahead and basically cut those out. When you got those cut, you got them nice and sandpapered down. And you got it nice and leveled. Use your sandpaper blocks or, or whatever you're using to do that. Then we're going to draw this. Okay? And we'll get to all of that. I'm not skipping anything. I'm just um, kind of 
showing you the draw. This one is, here's your halfway mark, your 10 inch handle, your taper, and this is a side view. The side, the very tips are going to be 3 8 inch thick, and you're going to taper from this corner down to 3 8 inches. And we'll talk about real quick the centering of a bow stave. I don't care how straight you think it looks, you want to do this anyways. Here's a perfect straight bow stave. Now I've already kind of drawn on it, but I'll go ahead and do it again. Here, the one I'm kind of cleaning up, is the imperfect bow stave. Okay? And this one is actually, you're going to pass this one up because it's way more imperfect than, than it is worth using. But the method is you go ahead and find your center just as before. Do your handle just as before. Taper line just as before. Taper line just as before. Or you know, you get what I'm saying. So then, you found your center, which is right here. Find your center on all of these other lines as well. So it'll be here and here, here and here. You take your ruler, you line up all the dots, and go ahead and draw that line across your bow. You're gonna have to replace the ruler a couple times, but you will essentially have a line that's straight even though your board's not. And this is where you're going to draw your tapers from. The middle straight line, not from the sides. Okay, So you'll find your one half, you go to your uh, fade line and connect your dots. Do the same on both sides, and then you'll have a perfectly straight uh, stave. Why was that so hard? <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to stop here. I'm going to let you guys draw that on your bow stave. Um, I'm going to do that as well, and we'll cut it out next video and draw the side tapers and cut those out, hopefully. And I just wanted to mention that I got my first 1,000 subscribers thanks to you guys. I really appreciate it. I dig it. I've been going at this for about a year and a half. Um, and I'm having fun doing it. I wanted to say hello to Vincent. He's got to be my biggest fan. Hi, Vincent. Um, and I have enabled something that YouTube is now offering. It's called fan funding, uh, where you, the, the viewers, can donate to your favorite channels when you think they deserve it or if you think it's necessary, whatever. I wanted to say that I get money anyways through monetizations, uh, but anyone would appreciate uh, a donation here and there so if you want to do that I would appreciate it um, but no obligation thanks for watching thanks for subscribing thanks for uh, for everything bye